Today I have a maxed out M13 level 69. That is the level you need to reach in order to unlock all of the attachments. First, we're going to talk about suggested class setups that I have. Now this first class setup and the second class setup are very similar. Now with this class setup, the only thing that's going to be different is going to be sleight of hand. The second class setup is not going to have sleight of hand. It's actually going to have that 50 round magazine. Now the 50 round magazine option is going to be for people who want to play a little bit on the more passive aggressive side on paper it doesn't look that great but when you get down to the details of the weapon and how you're using it that tells a different story so let's get into the structure of this video what you can expect first we're going to talk about the weapon data as well as testing results which drove me to the reason why i chose these specific attachments and then we're going to be talking about the actual class setup itself and how to use it to its fullest potential and if you're part of the 88 percent that do see my videos and you watch them constantly all the time help me reach 80 000 subscribers by hitting that subscribe button and turn on notifications. I would really appreciate it. All right, so first we're gonna talk about the damage profiles of the M13. Like I was saying, it's not that impressive on paper. So let's start off with the head. It's a 36 damage profile to the head, 24 to the chest and 24 to the stomach. So this is going to equivalent to five shots to the body from five to 25 meters and then six shots to the body from 30 to 75 meters. Now, when we're talking about headshots, it's three shots to the head from five to 35 meters, and then four shots to the head from 40 to 50 meters. As I was saying that this is not very attractive on paper, and this is probably why a lot of people struggle with this weapon and don't really enjoy using it. And if we add stopping power to the mix, it becomes a three shot kill to the body from five to 25 meters, and then four shots to kill from 30 to 75 meters. And if you're going for headshots while you have stopping power on, it actually makes no difference. It's still gonna be the same exact damage profile. So there's really no need to go for headshots on purpose when you have stopping power on. This is where things will take a turn and why some people find that they're having a great time using this weapon. The rate of fire on the M13 is 900 rounds per minute. So when you talk about rounds per minute, it basically tells a story of how fast you can kill an enemy with this weapon. Of course, it's gonna vary from from different ranges and this is exactly where people are going to be divided and why they've had different experiences than the person who did enjoy using it versus the person who didn't so with that said at 5 to 35 meters if you're going for a headshot it's 133 milliseconds to kill from that range if you really want to minimize the amount of time it takes to kill definitely try to go for headshots within that range and that's why some people feel like they're melting with it and it's an amazing weapon now if you're going for a body shot from 5 to 25 meters it takes about 267 milliseconds to kill. So this is still pretty fast if you're keeping it within that range. And then here's where it drops off a little bit at 30 to 75 meters, it's a 333 millisecond kill. With those ranges in mind, in conjunction with the time it takes to kill, you really have to keep that in mind as you're using this weapon. And that's exactly why I stated that the two suggested class setups that I recommend are meant to be used more like an SMG. So when you're using an SMG, Typically, you want to close the gap between yourself and the enemy. You want to play a little bit more aggressive. People who use this weapon and they play within those ranges and they play with that type of play style, that is the reason why they're finding a lot of success. The amount of shots to kill and the damage profiles really don't matter when you're keeping your gunfights within those ranges. Now, as far as aim down sight speed goes, the base aim down sight speed is 251 milliseconds. With the suggested class setup that I provided for you guys, it brings that down all the way to 160 milliseconds which is 33 percent faster this is very very noticeable and it's going to give you that cracked aim and that is going to be especially important since we are using this weapon like an smg you want to be able to have the upper hand and have speed on your side to make up for the lack of amount of shots it takes to kill an enemy now there are a couple attachments that i do want to highlight mainly because i did recommend one of them one of them is the 50 round mags now this one is going to give you 50 rounds per mag for some people 30 rounds might not be enough especially with with how fast this gun fires its bullets the con is that it negatively impacts your aim down sight speed as well as your movement speed now as far as aim down sight speed i tested this out there is no difference at all it's still the same aim down sight speed with the recommended attachments you could safely use this 50 round magazine without worrying about compromising your aim down sight speed the only con that it has is that it gives you a one percent slower movement speed which is not all that noticeable anyway so i wouldn't really worry about that i would still say that the 50 
round magazine is still a really good option moving on to the 60 round magazine it's still the same story there is no difference in aim down side speed it's still going to be 168 milliseconds with my recommended class setup but here is where it changes it becomes a three percent slower movement speed which is going to be very noticeable and it's going to be counterproductive to the kind of play style that i'm recommending that you guys play which is play a little bit more aggressive now since we're still talking about the extended magazine attachments there is one other magazine that did stand out to me and it's the 300 caliber blackout 30 round mags it does increase your damage range by 29 percent as well as no visible tracers so when you're firing your weapon enemies can't tell from which direction that you're shooting from then there's going to be no enemy skulls so they can't tell where their teammates have died on the map the damage range is okay it really just depends on what you're trying to go for in order to minimize the amount of time it takes to kill you need to play up close and personal so having that damage range pro that this 300 caliber blackout 30 round magazine comes with it's really going to be irrelevant and it's not really going to matter at all since i did recommend the tempest mini as one of the attachments to use on your class setups the tempest mini gives you a 14.5 percent faster aim down side speed as well as a two percent faster movement speed we need to equip as much mobility as possible with this weapon since we are playing a little bit more aggressive this is going to help you win more gunfights now the last and final attachment that i wanted to test out was the skeleton stock because it gives you a pro of aim walking movement speed as well as your aim down sight speed so this translates to a 14.5 percent faster aim down sight speed as well as a 12 percent faster aim down sight strafe speed strafing left and right is going to make you significantly faster when you're moving side to side especially when you're engaging in gunfights it's going to be a lot harder for enemies to take you out and that's why i really recommend using the m13 stock to really maximize the mobility as much as we possibly can as far as recoil testing goes as you can see here if you really look at it there really isn't much of a difference between all of these recoil patterns and why i don't really recommend putting an attachment solely to control that recoil i feel like it's just a waste of an attachment slot when you can be putting that towards other things that do maximize the potential out of this weapon when the recoil could easily be controlled especially when you're playing a lot closer you won't really need to adjust your aim as much because you're playing closer and the closer you are to your target the more accurate your shots should be in theory moving on to the actual attachments of the weapon for my barrel we have the tempest mini this gives you a pro of your aim down sight speed as well as your movement speed with a few cons which is bullet velocity and recoil control the recoil pattern is not really that much different it's very easy to control especially at the ranges that you're supposed to be using this weapon at which is going to be from short to medium range do not use this weapon from long range your time to kill is just going to be way too long and you're going to get a lot of hit markers so that's why the con of the recoil control is irrelevant in this situation and bullet velocity as well if you're using the weapon at distances that it should be used these cons are pretty much irrelevant moving on to the laser tech laser is a really great attachment if you know how to use it well now this is where people tend to use this attachment wrong and you don't want to use this at long ranges and aim down sights for too long because your green laser is going to be visible to the enemies which is going to expose your position if there's an enemy that happens to be walking by where you're aiming down sights he is going to be able to know where you are and take you out easily so moving on to the stock we got the m13 skeleton stock ultralight stock speeds up weapon handling and movement at the expense of aiming stability like i said whenever possible try to strafe left and right in those gunfights your enemies are going to have a harder time to lock onto you because you're moving that much faster than they are moving on to perk this one's optional i'm using the sleight of hand here because it helps me reload a lot faster this weapon does only come with 30 round mags i highly recommend putting on sleight of hand because it will help you stay locked and loaded and ready for the next engagement moving on to the rear grip i've got the stippled grip tape this one will give us an increase in aim down sight speed as well as sprint to fire speed it's going to help us fire our weapon faster after coming from a sprint this is definitely going to give us the upper hand when we're engaging in those gunfights so lastly this one is optional as well you could either use the 50 round mags or the sleight of hand perk kind of depends on your play style or what you choose to do but you can't go wrong with either or but with 50 round mags it gives you that much extra bullets now keep in mind when you do need to reload make sure you're reloading in safe circumstances and don't just blindly reload in the middle of a map so that's about it as far as the attachments goes pretty simple setup the main thing that you need to take away from all of these attachments you need to play up close and personal keep those engagements within that 5 to 25 meter range also keep in mind that when you're up close and personal try to go for those headshots to reduce the amount of time it takes to kill when you're using this weapon it's the smart idea to flank try to be as sneaky as possible
possible such as you would with an SMG. You cannot play using this weapon from a distance or else you will lose those gunfights and that's why a lot of people do complain about this weapon being too weak and how it needs a buff. I do agree it does need a buff. If you're using this weapon based on the test dating results that I provided and using that data to your advantage, if you play a lot closer, you're going to be melting your enemies and that's why some people have a more positive time using this weapon. Don't forget to drop a like if you did find this information helpful and don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here or if you're part of that demographic that does watch my videos all the time but you just haven't subscribed yet. I'm trying to reach 80,000 subscribers. I really appreciate everyone who watches the channel and supports me every time I do an upload. My uploads may not be daily but I do try to bring the best quality content for you guys every time I upload. All right and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.